My mom wanted me to True story. However, my aunt immediately stepped in. She fears society to try to make me their Toby. My aunt named me Tarishi. Tarishi, which is Swahili for messenger. I guess my family wanted to give me a name that reminded me where we came from. We live in the generation that gentrification has some people bleaching their skin. So they forget the next of kin were Africans. They have some Africans bleaching their skin. So they forget the names came from baked under the sun. My name comes from a place that believes in a proverb. It takes a village to raise a child. I believe it takes a plan to shape an identity. I won't apologize. You don't understand my euphemism. Your world is too small for me. I think outside your bubble or your box, but the senses trying to be fit in doesn't make sense. Since race has not been more insistent that way as Disney are in the first place. Human. I was born on the east coast of America, the name that came from the east coast of Africa. The journey was forever, learning that my name was born on a struggle, learning that my name can be translated to, <coughs> boy, look, you lost yourself, learning that my name is not safe. Starting in eighth grade, when the classmate called me <coughs> Hershey, he felt it difficult to pronounce Tarishi. I told you, I hate triple shapes. I shouldn't allow someone to easily marginalize my life to fit my box of chocolates. You can allow your English to colonize your tongue so you can speak Stanislavski, Nardi Vinci, Sikorsky, learn to say Tarishi. It's easy. So it's seven freaking letters. T-A-R-I-S-H-I. It's really an acronym for Transatlantic Refugee, Individually Seeking Human Independence. I shouldn't allow someone to try to change my name into a dessert since my ancestors already made course for the sharks in the middle of passage. The question was asking me, why would I call myself Midnight? If Hollywood ever made a movie about me, no matter how much I whitewash my history, you always taste the melanin in my pseudonym. I have learned that your name is not safe. Once you discover the translation, you are accountable to the responsibility it carries. My name means messenger. I am more than just these poems. There's a moral compass attached to it. I am more a character than 26 letters of the alphabet. My aunt prophesied me into a martyr. Noah admires the bearer of bad news, especially when it's the truth. This mouth is the bullseye ready for the shotgun blast to silence me. How many gods message be crucified if you realize I'm here to bring the word? I'm not going to be the author of it. I may be both. I may be bipolar, ambidextrous. A black man who refuses to be silent is dangerous. A black man that chooses to be silent is still dangerous. A mom want to give me a name that my name or roots. My aunts want to give me a name that my my oppressors. Even if they colonize your language, they can never colonize your purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Chain. 
Once I pop the neck of that chain, that bicycle removes I say so. How the saying goes, once you learn how to bicycle, they never forget. They think they're equal to us drivers, but definition, that vehicle I ride. Those extra wheels in the beginning, that should train you. Watch, rip those limbs off, see me time a bicycle fall for help. It's okay, don't worry. It's hard to break a bicycle. They're designed to take a beating. All colored metal frame attached to a chain. The system is doing just fine. Do a design to keep those bicycles in line. You should be grateful. You are right getting lost in the traffic jam. Don't let this rush hour remind you that you like to be seen, not heard. To be faithful, I'm sure we'll like you. You consider it a dignity, grateful bike. Oh my God. Simple check. Do I really sound like that one driver trying to convince myself racism doesn't exist? <laughs> Every time I say, I'm not a racist. I really like bicycles. Uh. As a matter of fact, I even own one. Oh. <laughs>
de ti en Oricua, en la So yeah, I'm New Yorican, right? I'm New Yorican, and I host open mics at the New Yorican Poets Cafe. Yeah, Monday nights. I'm there every other Monday. It happens every Monday. I also host open mics in the Boogie Down Bronx, in Queens Point. If you follow me, La Bruja and Wasi, you spell it La Bruja and Wasi, because you know, Jose is with a J, but it's still an H. That's, that's the other colonizer's tongue. I have to learn English, Spanish, you know, but I am Taino. I identify with my indigenous people and, you know, the native, the native, the true American. Uh, I'll do this one. This is called the Trump card. <laughs> We cannot sleep and are told not to speak, but we are the insomniacs of the American dream. We are living in a nightmare and want to scream because we are the leviathans of the mainstream. This slave nation on the backs of immigrants was born. Where is the humanity in our immigration reform? Minimizing our contributions, affecting our self-esteem. We may not be granted the DREAM Act, but it will not stop us from acting upon our dreams. We are not illegal. We are not aliens. We are not minorities. Lady Liberty has welcomed all immigrants historically to inspire true democracy and break down the walls so that America can truly be great once and for all. We have been changing the face of the United States, not just the stereotypical landscape, Respect to the Native Americans forced on reservations and the African tribes forced onto the slave ships. A modern America should begin to hold sacred, multicultural interrelations. Through the arts, we self report. Racists should self deport <laughs> and force the human narrative to no longer fall short. From liberty, equality, we shall not be far. We must travel the long road, though times have been hard. Our value, our voice, can no longer be ignored. And some say it won't suit them, but we hold the Trump card. Against all Puerto Ricans, 
We are fighting an elusive creature that owns me as a paraíso. ¿Cómo me explico? ¿A qué me califico? ¿Por qué me mortifico? I am not poor, but rico. We were offered fool's gold while they robbed us of a shareholder. While nacionalistas were told to take over of control, we danced and fell into the American mold. We warmed ourselves with tropical memories while facing the American cold. But what is untold, we will expose. There are no more cheeks to turn. Though the hypocrisy has left us holding two faces, we've been slapped with debt we didn't earn. Told to strap up our boots, but left without shoelaces, not welcome in one but living in two places, between here and there is no place for me. Oh, say this rape culture, oh, say can you see? It is always to victim blame so the truth you won't see. And they ask me how I let it go this far beneath the shirt off my back that I gave all the scars. This patriotic love of one flag, this promised freedom of one star, while there's 50 United States but not room for one more. My children since birth have been treated as whores, and what was mine was mine, but mistaken as yours. Collectors of foreign sectors are banging down my door, and the first mass exodus was in the 50s, and we're witnessing the sequel in 2020. And if you ask me right now what it is that I am thinking, I'm holding my people up to stop them from sinking. They would see the richness of my power if they started interlinking, and the colonial mindset would start collecting and shrinking. So stand up, my children. We will always be connected. Por el cordón umbilical, maternal, por el ombligo, with my mangoes and my mangroves. Yo los purifico, los huracanes de Yokahu. Yo los pacifico, y las riquezas de Atabey. Yo los multiplico. If you came for me, you will go for me. You will come to me. You will grow from me. Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Poor to Rico. Poor to Rico. We are not poor, but Rico. We are not yours, but Rico.
appreciate your invitation. Thank you. Uh, our future. What's your, what's your, what are you running for? City council. City council. Our future city councilman. Is that what's going to happen? Yes, we are making this speaking uh, this into a vision. Okay, uh, so I'll just end with this. This is the third verse of this, this song that I have called For Which It Stands because people always ask me why you call yourself a blue I just started wearing a hat. I was just like, you know what? I'm not even going to explain anything anymore, but I'll explain this. And this is all true. I wrote my name on an open mic list to spit. It was a lunar eclipse. It was 1996, April 3rd. My spoken word the first time was heard, and I emerged as a New Yorican poet. I didn't even have a flow yet. Bobito hosted. The seed was planted since then. I just had to grow it. From the time I was five, when I learned to recite from my mom, who herself couldn't read or even write. She was my beacon of light. She changed the course of my life. She saw my mom become a wife on Halloween night. So no, I don't kill chickens or do voodoo pins sticking. And my mission isn't wicked. Superstition or wicked. No Spanish inquisition. No spooky premonition. No treating. No tricking. It's just oral tradition. I only spell with words. Verbal incantation. So after this, don't ask again what the name is. Thank you so much. Just in case I rise like Jesus. Tell the scared I gotta speak. 
want to be ducks and teachers. They lucky we just want to be equal. They lucky we don't buy to genocide for the way that they treat us. Intimidating the Medicaid, they got the features. America can come up with the leaders that can feed us. That's why our chicken sandwiches go viral and we eat it. Cause they don't want us waking up at the Jewish beaches. They got us hiding under the pictures. Why can cook it for pieces? Interrogated beaters. Praying that they don't feed us. Running for our lives to possess the white knights to beat them. Practice trying to practice like they scared we gonna eat them. Nothing scarier to me than white people scared of me, permitted to bury me. I go safe with the ground, still the Beverly. They've been hunting out from X, hunting heavily. Without the melody, never dated the man that came like I got dirty. Papa G. Put it first early, but let a pistol drop if it wasn't for white theory. There's no justice, but I believe a judge will judge a jury. Trayvon Martin Luther King had a dream that Mike Brown versus Board of Family. More options grants and scholarships on my people learn. But Emmett Till Christ returns, my people burn. Trayvon Martin Luther King had a dream that Mike Brown versus Board of Family. More options grants and scholarships on my people learn. But Emmett Till Christ returns, my people burn. And my people still burning. This is worse. Doing the death dance like the Charleston Church. Bare knees or dry to me, advice till it hurts. Taking life is the power to be brought to the first. Shining like all sterling silver is our curse. Muhammad, Baba, black sheep, bodies in the hearse. Too much to reverse. Killing blacks till there's nothing left of them. Imagine Panther Rattam is giving them their own medicine. Trayvon Martin Luther King had a dream that Mike Brown versus Board of Beverly. More Oscar grants and scholarships so my people learn. But Emmett Till Christ returns, my people burn. Trayvon Martin. The king had a dream that Mike Brown versus Board of Beverly Full Oscar grants and scholarships so my people learn But Emmett Till Christ returns, my people burn Pray what I'm saying does not say enough. 
I'm trying to keep my cross erect. It's not staying up. The spirit is on my back like life is not. God, I don't pray enough. Even when I pray, what I'm saying does not. The lessons are not staying in love. They're trying to make me stronger, but God, I'm trying to get to the but God kept me alive. But should I really thank God when sometimes I don't want to be alive? That line almost didn't rhyme. I'm always out of line and all dogs do the time for crime. But if I put a bullet in my eye, I bet I would survive just so God could turn my rhymes to mine. But why you gotta test me all the time? If I could get to the testimony, I would be fine. See, once upon a time, I used to be a gospel rapper. Now I read the gospel when I'm praying for the rapture because if this is life, then I'm dying for what comes after. But then I hear the master say, title this chapter, Desire from Disaster. Don't get caught in the moments, pick the moments that you capture. So I thank the door, the, the Lord for my daughters and all the laughter for every word I rhyme and the people who thank me after. Because God, I don't pray enough. Even when I pray, what I'm saying is not staying up. Try to keep my cross to rest, it's not staying up. Spits on my back, life is not way enough. Oh my God, I don't pray enough. Even when I pray, what I'm saying is not staying up. Trying to keep me stronger. Trial, tribulations, and lessons is not staying love. Trying to get me stronger, but God, trying to get to the, but God. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you can follow me on social media, uh, The Artist Anubis, The Artist Anubis, Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, thank you very much. Grandma on 
your Jesus can save them, slave them in the workplace for payment so the light company don't turn your place into a damn plantation. Freedom, we shall overcome. And if a solder ain't pardoned, then ain't nobody free or overcome. We shall overcome. It's over. Obama has come. And that nigga done for your black card got trumped. Talking out your asshole in the 2012 election ballot, filled out on toilet paper, too complacent to wipe away our own ignorance, wallowing in people, feel self satisfaction. Right. We got to be the saddest on the face of the planet. Niggas got me twitching, trigger finger itching, ripping up all my black history books, and that's an effigy while I'm spitting, because Rose's black ass had a seat. King woke up and got shot back to sleep, and then Obama gave a speech. Yeah. And that's it. And that's it. Ain't nobody been to no fucking mountaintop shit. <laughs> Malcolm X's grandson lived in the project. I was probably supposed to write this like 12 years ago, but nobody was ready yet. Beyond dick riding, he was gargling, Kool-Aid flavored semen from the rocks, nutsack, spitting out over. Yeah. And yeah, I saw Sasha and Malia following Big Daddy O on the go. Along with Michelle, the words of Umar Ben, that shit was a real bad TV show. Nigga, I ain't instigating just for the sake of a story before race relations. This is this is unadulterated truth propagated through the mic. You think this is just rebellious? I've not yet begun to write. The yeah. bastard babies of Elijah Muhammad pop locking inside of Medusa's Ooh. womb. Most of the bombs and bonnets laced with sex, sex, and death. Mind, body, and soul all woven into the mess of the truth. Posted in plain sight on the Facebook wall of your life, and you won't even read it. No logical, technological optimism presented in the form of gentrified chicken, and we love to eat it, but believe it when I tell you the revolution will not be posted on IG nor tweeted. Free, dumb, free to be dumb. You ain't free, you dumb, free, dumb. Nigga, you think you free, you dumb, free, dumb. Defeat these rebels 
regenerated resonance and reactivated revolutionary radio frequencies mixed with manifestations of manufactured metaphors written in, in manifested metaphors written in meta meta metametric telepathy. And evolution is imperative. So my fingerprints were printed with the scarred harmonies hidden inside the meanings of slave narratives. You can feel the filled songs in my lyrics. Dope on drum beats speak to me in my sleep. Dreams haunted by cellular memory. My spirit energy inherits me with the ability to channel God, great grandma, and infinity. And this flesh is not my final destination. Cerebral DJ spinning my hell on a vinyl compilation. Freedom reborn in the form of a crack addicted b-boy on the tip of my tongue breaking. And I can taste, I can taste it. Driving me creatively crazy. Cotton cotton my cadence. Because I swear every rap song I hear sounds like the scream of Sarah's baby. New Orleans and Haiti attached to her back. Because even in this millennium, whips still crack. It's like the song of Sajifo keeps calling me back. And I know if I reach deep enough into myself, I can make contact. So I'm going in, all the way in, to where middle passage passages play out the drum patterns, the poly, the play out the drum patterns, the planet rock, and polyrhythmic syncopation, lessons and messages reflected through sound waves, directed through ocean graves, directed to ocean, directed through plantations on blocks where little children play out the roles of cast out, hated, and tainted. In the city plantations where bullets serenade rib cages, sirens parading like invading aliens, blue lights beckoning bastardized babies, blade, blue lights beckoning bastardized babies, blue lights beckoning bastardized babies, faded in the blankets of bereavement, baptized in the crack coated waters of infested wounds, beatboxing on bodies of Babylonian riches and hieroglyphic tombs. Oh. While time's divine baseline echoes throughout Christ's empty womb and Osiris sues for religion's remixed back with the God that we earned. And she wants her fucking shit back. <laughs> and I already told you I don't live here. So I had to go in. No, not in. I mean all the way in. And I'm not coming back. Far beyond transatlantic continental shift, and this isn't even my planet. This metaphysic mingle is madness. I can't stand it. Side and foes words stranded between my stanzas. Somebody says Slankston seems to have gone insane, and it feels as if ISIS is writing the diagnosis on my page in a rage. While little miniature Harriet Tubman's are walking into vaginas like caves, performing abortions on black babies just to prevent the birth of more slaves. Because you still refuse to embrace your own greatness. Far beyond spoken word, this is Hebrew hieroglyphics and constellations mixed with the cadence of the most high, reawakening in our ancient vibration and our DNA's foundation. Ripping in the rhythm of remembrance, my molecules spinning faster than warp engines, indigo flow, poems composed in the words of shy foe, so fuck rhyme schemes, we be star seeds spitting in the cadence of a whole new generation. Shit, don't even need a mothership, I'm walking to the next dimension. Word to Saul Williams, Warrior women's wounds still waiting for the greatest Americans to be incarnated. And definition is my mission. Stepped on stage and ascended. Preparation is the mission. Step on stage and ascended. Now who's coming with me? I just want to say, I'm probably going to figure that out by tomorrow. <laughs> Funny you say that. <laughs> but yes, that was a lot of various schoolwork. It's <laughs> a various rhyming players. It was probably a lot once. However, if anything you missed, you can get the reader's edition right here. <laughs> Hold that up, hold that up, fam.
hold a pedal horse. Killmonger was born in Baltimore and never found a kind. I heard his heartbeat sounded like a war drum, sounded like a club mix mixed from a tribal dance, an A year echoed out of a hated memory. Baltimore raised him, but Wakanda couldn't save him. A sandcope, a bird, and a raven, shadow boxing at the intersection of Block Raven and self hatred. I seen him over rest one day, looking for a used day pass. Sipping a half and half filled with his own regret. They say it was half real nigga and half hotep. A little extra swagger and a dagger in his step. So he named his 22 in Baku and made him bark. Wasa! Wasa! Every time white cops showed up talking that nonsense, nigga, what? Because the marks on his chest weren't for the kills that he got, but a memorial in his flesh for every one of his close friends who had been shot in the comic books. His mother is a bit of a mystery. In Baltimore, the vibranium she injected into her veins often made her a mystery. And after his dad's death, he got lost in foster care. Seemed like nobody in his community cared. Even batted a terrible eye. Funny how Wakanda feels a lot like America sometimes. Syndrome of what happens when the power of the people gets stripped away. So he lived with death at his side. Looked the reaper in his eyes and told him what I challenged shit was over with. Holding a revolution in one hand and the throat of a black woman in the other. Yeah, speak that real talk. However, his community served as his heart-shaped herb to move the mic. Maybe he could have learned to do more with his words or make safe the streets, lead us into a beautiful struggle instead of being the cause of it. Maybe he could have ceased to fire and made murder spots sacred with his tears. He could have saved a dope boy from dying, even if the only life that he saved was his. And from being honest, the character reminds me not of a killmonger, but more so Wallace from The Wire or Oscar in Oakland, less victim-made villain and more so black boy made broken. There was an African proverb that states, if a child isn't initiated, turn and burn the village just to fill its warmth. But what happens when the village is the very thing that makes you burn? This is the point in the poem where the character of Eric stops being fictional for me. All I can see is another Freddy or Tyrone, an unidentified name on a homicide list. What if in the midst of trying to find home inside some ancient mystical myth, he found out he was actually in Wakanda the entire time to begin with? What if all it took to make Wakanda forever was for us to make Wakanda together? Mm -hmm. But that's the type of talk that turns kill mongers into killed martyrs. Drowning in an Atlantic-sized ocean of its own blood and regrets, and of a shore of its own set. The ancestors with their arms stretched, wondering if you'll live to see the sunset. The American flag. I wish I could be proud of it, but I can't. But I won't. I wish I could be proud of what you stand for, but you don't. So I can't. You see, you stand divided. You stand split. You stand for an exception, and I happen to be it. You whack. You welcome all your foreign born from across the sea. When some of your native-born sons you have yet to set free, you stand divided, you stand split. You stand for an exception, and I happen to be it. One day it will not be this way, if imagination can be true. But you can stand pure, clean, and free. Yeah, right. So on that fictional day, allegiance to be.
and I am still waiting. But that poem was written in 1955 by my grandmother when she was 13 years old. And she wrote it when she saw the story about Emma Till on the news. And then she came to school the next day and refused to stand up for the president. And the teacher tried to make her stand up. Instead, she took a knee on her desk and finished writing the poem. Um, and that was the who was there. That was 1955. Wow. 15-year-old grandma was responding to the same thing. Like what happens when black history repeats itself in the form of being black in America decade after decade? Seen black life sparking and leaping into existence 
the playlist of resistance and ancient rhythms, alchemy and bass blending, like Erica Bridgeford transforming a crime scene into a sacred space, knowing that death is not a thing, except a door that needs to be opened to let the music out, like an old man bending himself into an infant that glows in the dark.
to tell me where I was kidnapped. Tied up, tied down to the bottom of a slave ship, transported like cattle. I didn't ask to come here via a slave and match my other. Ask Grandmother Ellen the bump was that pull up a nail. Ask Rodney King. Ask Michael Brown. Ask Freddie Gray. I didn't ask to be American. At least not the ones that bombed Hiroshima. Killed me in the meat babies. Spread man-made diseases. Spilled blood and guts in the name of the cross. The lash and the gun. Stole the Indians' land. And before I be slain, I be buried in my grave. I just want to be accepted in the human race with peace, love, justice, and equality. I didn't come on the Mayflower. Came on a good ship, Jesus. I'm a star to Tilda and Mary Marie. Chain bound and shackled from glory till a mean a castle. Copper and tobacco, cotton and manila. You ain't paid your dues. You ain't paid your dues. You ain't paid your dues to sing my blues. To sing my blues. I don't eat old and I don't walk on water. I'm a runaway, I'm a renegade, I'm a son of a dusty daughter. You ain't paid your dues. You ain't paid your dues. Mark Beasy in Charleston, Nanny of the Maroons, Nat Turner and John Brown, Harriet Tubman, Freedom Bound, You ain't paid your dues, You ain't paid your dues, You ain't paid your dues. My blues, you're not to sing my blues. So, um, uh, this is a cigar box, three string guitar. So, we came here. We couldn't bring no instruments. We made what we could, what we could find. This instrument was popular around 1835. Burnt from sun up to sundown. Black babies stole by the pound. Ancestors buried in hallowed ground. You ain't paid your dues. The whole world seems like a big plantation. I'm just trying to get my reparations, cause you ain't paid your dues. You ain't paid your dues. You ain't paid your dues. Sing my blues, no, sing my blues. Come on a Mayflower, came on a good ship, Jesus. I'm a star to tiller, Henry Ellen Marie. Chain bound and shackled, 
from glory to a mean castle. Copper hands of battle. Cotton man manila.
may think I'm some kind of fool. It's too late for 40 acres and a mule. The dead is 400 years overdue. Tell me where's the reparations? Oh, where's the reparations? Oh, where's the reparations? Oh, where's the reparations? Whoa, whoa. Where's the reparations? Help me now. Where's the reparations? Where's the reparations? Oh, where's the reparations? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the reparations?
Holla, boy, holla, boy, holla. My friend bleeds, man. Howling like a dog in heat on a full moon night. Suffering roof shots as the tree of life was bulldozed. Lost by a bird in concrete invisible. Wandering like a lost dog trying to find his name. Battling extinction. Babbling on in Babylon. Telling you the stories of the people and the places and the faces that they see. Both of this life and the past. For the doors of the past lead to the future. Not to repeat the bitter with the sweet. Oh yes. I remember sweet. Like hot donuts from Georgie. And bean pies and fish. Just from the Muslim stick and take when you got the munchies. School was at the crossroads, 125th and Lilith, from a stepladder, listening to Malcolm Martin and Carlos Cook, across from the Teresa Hotel where Fidel stayed, because they wouldn't give him a room in the end downtown, kind of like Jesus and Mary. When Lindy was the hop, before B was the bus, long before hip hop. Maybe some numbers runners and a bootleg or two. Lashley Renaissance, Claude McKay, and Zora too. These sweet memories I bring to you, babbling on in Babylon, where Malcolm was assassinated at the Audubon. Some was filled with menacing, ordered a feather in a chapel window, talented the Apollo. Before boys were shipped overseas to fight all these wars, before the smack and the crack, finally the LP from Sakuno's record shack. Check out Miriam and Hugh racing in the grass. Before Bad Bad Thomas sang Carol Wade's Pearl Amber Pistol in the Air at Harry Tuffman School and was assassinated. We still go to the Cotton Club. Duke Spirit still lives there. The late night eats back those wells where chicken and waffles dwell. Long before IHOP got crystal with the lump of speed and discovered it. When African vendors lined 125 Street selling their wares, incense and oil in the air. I'm just here bringing your memory back to black. Babylon on in Babylon. Oh Harlem, oh Harlem, oh Harlem. My pen bleeds for you.